Today I'm going to be showing you how to import an image outside of, from scratch and as well as animate the image. So let's get into the video. So the reason why transparent images are good is because they don't come with the background. So for an example, I have this regular image right here, just the scratch logo. If I add in a backdrop, just like some regular blue sky, you can see that this image comes with the uh, it comes with the background that's why transparent transparent images are good and we don't want these images that come with the background so to start it off to get the transparent image and get it animated onto scratch what we're going to be doing is we're going to go onto google images and then head over to the images tab and we're just going to search up out of like we're just going to search up tsunami uh, we're gonna try to find an animated GIF. So in order to do that for the for this specific tsunami thing I searched up, we're gonna click Tools, Color, and you wanna click Transparent, click Type, and then GIF. So you get the transparent files and the GIF files. So I found this transparent GIF file right here. Just another reminder that if before you're going to save the image to know that it's completely transparent, if you see these like gray and white pixels behind this actual like image that you searched up for, then you know it's transparent. And to know it's GIF, you obviously you can see that. I'm gonna save it. Just, I'm just gonna hit enter. And I, you wanna click this, choose Sprite. You don't click on it, you hover over it, upload sprite, click the tsunami button, and there you go. So this is the transparent image. That's why transparent images are good because they don't, like I said, they don't come with the background. And here we have it. So we have the image right here, but what we don't have is the actual GIF working. In that case, we need to actually code, have the code so that the GIF starts to work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get another one clicked Go on switch looks looks again the switch costume. It doesn't matter which one it is. Go on variables, make up a variable, and we're gonna call the variable FPS. And FPS is basically frames per second. Once you've done that, get in the set FPS and set it to 16. I picked 16 because the lower it is, the less laggier it is, and 16 is a good number for uh scratch to input it. So if we actually play it. It worked once, but we're going to make it go on forever. So we're going to get in a forever loop. Go on looks. Next costume. Control. Wait one second. Operators. Slash. Variables. FPS. And we're just going to make it two seconds. And that's how you do it. I like it having it as two seconds because it comes, it has, it has a nice timing to it. It comes out clean, but you can make it one. I feel like that's really fast, so I just keep it as two. Anyways, guys, that's how you do it. That's how you make the animated GIF actually work. Thank you for watching. Peace. For more beginner level Scratch tutorials, visit our Scratch Basics homepage at chromeworks.ca slash basics.